<laughs> Yo, what's up, Mike Red Fox? You might remember my last video. This is the card, my last vlog. This is the card that was running really, really warm. It's running about 20 degrees warmer than all the other GPUs in that rig in the same environment. It's a 3060 Ti. It's old, I think it's the first 30 series card I bought when it first released. And um, it looks okay, it's in okay condition. But what I'm gonna do is take it apart, clean it up, and get some new thermal paste on it. And we're gonna see if the temperatures drop at all in this video. Take another look at it. I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's just some like dust and stuff behind the fans, but nothing really to be concerned about. So let's open it up, take a look. I have uh, some new thermal paste ready to go, some MX4, I think I have MX5. It's pretty much what I've always used for GPUs and haven't had any problems. And so what I'm gonna do, I don't know if I've taken apart this specific card before, but they're all pretty similar. So let me take off the back plate. I got my iFixit screwdriver kit here. If you need one, it's what I use for all my GPUs. I'll have a, a link for it down in the description below. And we're just gonna start with a zero. Should be what I need for this. Uh, so we're gonna take, start taking these, some of these screws out. These are the wings, ones that have the springs on them. So we'll keep those separate and organized here. Uh, and as I do this, man, that Bitcoin price, we hit a new all-time high this week before the halving, which is absolutely incredible and I think unexpected based on the previous history from pretty much just about everybody in the space. We just didn't think it was gonna happen, but it did. And then, man, it, uh, <laughs> it dropped big time after that. Uh, and then it's working its way back up. Things like, like 67K today. What a time to be alive. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to do? Still something holding this in. You can for sure look up the instructions online or you can do what I do, which is absolutely just wing it and figure it out. Maybe I have to take these fans off too. I don't really want to. What else is holding this together? So got one here. Take that out. Got one on the other side, going into the cooler itself. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, that did something. Yep, that was it. Still some. Oh, there's ones in the back here. All the way in there. That's kind of tricky. It's probably a better way to take this one apart. GPUs really aren't complicated though. You should not be scared about taking these apart and putting them back together. They're very, very easy. Okay, get this screw out. There we go. Freed that up. So, what are we talking about? Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 screws, and you get the GPU apart. Okay, so now we got some cables. Two go into the fans. I'm gonna unplug from the PCB here. Let's see if they're locking ones. They are. Uh, those ones are kind of annoying. Let's see what's holding this cooler still in. If anything, I don't think so. It might just be thermal paste. Yep, okay. So we got that all off. So what I can do is we got three pieces here. Let me see if I can get this one unplugged from the PCB. Gigabyte uses these locking connectors, which have actually broke a couple before. And so they're a little trickier. I think that's what this is. Here we go. Just like a little extra work. Okay, yeah, that thermal paste is so dried up, my goodness. My goodness, that's definitely the problem. I don't know, let's see. We'll show it in a couple. You can probably see it in the overhead camera, but I'll show it up close here. See that thermal paste? It's just super dry, just from heat and the age. I don't know if this card ever was in my grow tent when I was doing that. It always ran really, really warm in there. Otherwise, it's in pretty nice shape. The cooler, it's just got this would just be a quick cleaning. You can see there some of the stuff on the cooler. Um, otherwise, it's in good shape. It's definitely got to be that thermal paste. So let me get this cleaned up and then I'll apply some new paste. I got a bunch of videos doing this stuff on my channel, but in case you haven't seen it before, I just use medical grade alcohol. It's 99.9% .9 alcohol. And then there's these hilariously named science tissues, 
I don't know if you can see them there, that uh, make sure they don't leave any debris behind. Uh, and all we're gonna do here is just clean off the paste. The memory pads on the, thermal pads on the memory chips, mm, they look okay. It's not GDR6X. I probably should replace them. I'm gonna try it without it. But if you were me in this situation, you should definitely replace those. One of them flaked out a little bit when I took it apart. They still got oil on them, which is good. But I mean, it's like I have it open anyway, I should do it. But I am short on time, because I gotta pick up Junior soon. So this is what we're gonna do. So, okay, this chip is looking pretty shiny and good. A little bit more I can do, but I always love taking a break to take a look at the NVIDIA chip. Look at that, that is pretty, huh? That has made a lot of money for them and for me. So uh, I'm gonna clean up the rest of this. Got to get the cooler side. You can see you just got to clean up there and you can see the memory pad that came apart a little bit right there. But I think I can make it work. Again, this is not uh, a card I'm worried about memory temperatures on. So clean it all up and then we're gonna put it back together. There's a cooler, it's cleaner. But you see all those little dots in there, especially over here, that's, that's corrosion. It's fine, it doesn't harm anything. It's just from some of the outside air corroding on the components, but it does not harm anything at all. So now what I gotta do is start putting this thing back together. Uh, and the first step in all of that is gonna be to get some thermal paste over on the chip. The GPU chip itself. So I'm gonna use this MX4 in there. Let me open this up. And I'm gonna put just like a pea size, maybe a grain of rice size right in the middle here. And then kind of up for debate here. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you spread that out before you put the cooler on or do you let the just weight of the cooler uh, and as you screw it in, spread it out? I've Done both. What I'm gonna do here to ensure even coverage, especially as I'm testing this GPU, and I might need a little bit more actually, is I'm going to spread it out on the chip. But let me know what you do down in the comment section. If there's one thing I know people have strong opinions on, it's thermal paste application. Let me know down in the comment section how I did. Okay, what should we do next? I'm actually gonna get, because this was a little tricky, I'm gonna get the cooler back in the fans first and this one I noticed ran actually in between the copper piping here so let's get it back in there cool then those two cables just sneak out the side let's get some of these screws back in okay and let's get this cable attached first and now I'm gonna do the two fan cables. Okay, and last step is gonna to be to seat this and apply even pressure. And then I'm gonna flip it around and get the screws put in the back, which is gonna apply pressure on the cooler and the GPU chip. And sandwiched in between all that is that new thermal paste I just applied. So what I'm gonna do is put the screws in in like a crisscross pattern here. So it applies pressure evenly. And I usually won't tighten them down all the way just yet on the first pass. I'll get on maybe 80% of the way there. And then I'll come back around and tighten them completely once I get the first pass done. Now we're just gonna do some of these remaining screws around the back plate here. Okay, I'm just gonna give it one good clean over. I got some like thermal paste mess all over it. Checking the cables are in good shape. Nothing's impeding the fans. Time to get it back in the rig. See what we got. GPU's back in there. And I don't know if you all do this. I'm, I'm gonna do it off camera, but I, I give them a little smooch. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I give them a little smooch just to make sure they're gonna be good. They know that I love them and everything is gonna be okay. So let's turn this back on. 
That's good news. We got fans, we got light. We are looking much improved. So you're looking at the first card there is the one I just repaired. If I scroll over, it's doing 54 degrees now on the core, which is just in line with its brother next to it, which is that one right there, is the last card, also at 54 degrees. That's what I wanted to see because before, it was about 20 degrees hotter that it was running in this rig. Let's give it one last refresh. See what we get. Looking good, they're exactly in line with each other, which is what I would expect because they're just about identical cars. One of them I think is the OC version, and the other isn't, but otherwise they're exactly the same cooler setup. Nothing is gonna be like this Gigabyte car, the Aorus, which has a massive cooler on it, which is running like 10 degrees colder than both of these, but uh, I think successful, much successful. Even just taking a look at the thermal paste that was in there, I figured that was gonna be the case that it needed some love. So that's it for this uh, vlog on my day off, what I got to accomplish here while Junior's at school, the missus is at work, just me hanging out, working on some rigs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like button, sub to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your week. Let's go Bitcoin. Take care everybody, peace.